Y'all ready to know what it is? In three! You already know what time it is. If you can hear the sound of my voice, you are listening to his, hers, and ours, a real-life couple holding real-life conversations with real-life friends. I am your co-host, Solomon Davis, joined always by... Shannon Roya Davis. What's going on? Hey, it's good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. Yeah. So today, we are joined by one of our frequent guests, Mr. Reginald Gray, captain of <laughs> Team Solomon. Whatever. <laughs> team of two. But go ahead. Behind the ones and twos. The 40 year old hey. freshman, Mr. Serge Gotti himself. Yo! <laughs> so, how, how was your week? Ah, I keep telling people this week always oh, means nothing. Mm-hmm. I took some time away from work, from family, just to kind of unplug, just to unwind and kind of reboot myself. Um, and I am really pleased with how I feel this week. Um, had a great anniversary, which was awesome. Happy anniversary. Um, happy anniversary happy to you, anniversary. too. Happy anniversary. Yeah. And then um, we had one of our favorite guys who, who's, who's on the show with us today, his birthday. And we had a good time last night. And then today, we just act like kids. So it was really cool. It was kind of dope. And then, like, tonight we'll, you know, hang out a little bit more. But this week has been really good. I needed it to kind of refresh and reboot myself because I had been in a place of just kind of just feeling, you know, tired, really just, like, unsure, you know, some of those things going on. So, so I'm, you, I'm happy. So you re-energized, right? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Enough so that I'm going to get some good cooking for Thursday coming up. Oh, that's oh. what you was asking about, good cooking? I uh, thought you was talking about some cooking tonight. I was oh. like, yes, daddy. <laughs> hey. Bye. Daddy. But nah. <laughs> you already know what it is. Heat it up. Yeah. But like you said, this is the episode we've been waiting on for a minute. I've been trying to get these two in studio for a while. I mean, these two guests hold a special Thank place in both of our hearts. They are two. They are two people whom I mean, we ride. We ride to the grave with. I Absolutely. Mean, the, the love for Likewise. them. I mean, blood. Blood couldn't make, make us any so closer, I you know agree. what I'm saying? Totally, Amen. totally. Mm-hmm. So yeah. to my right, I've got my brother from another mother, Jacksonville's finest, Hey, Mr. Drew Mills. Sitting across from him, his better half, Miss Ashley. Period. That's it. <laughs> A dot. Miss <laughs> A dot. Hey. Oh my What's gosh. going on, people? Life is great. Man, don't try to get off. Oh, and he get off. Life is great. Right. This, this white person voice. Oh, yeah, God. Right. Cut it out. I, your I, service I voice? ain't even going to hold you. I ain't even all the way sober. I'm like quarter past sober. Because <laughs> I had forgot we were recording. But God is good all the time. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. so is whiskey. Oh, so we yeah. going to figure this out in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Let's just say amen. We here. Amen. We here. We here. No, we, we're already in hell. Uh, Not you trying to bring the vibe down. Nah, he on some Tupac. <laughs> he on some Tupac. We already in hell. Jesus. We in hell already. We already yeah. knew it. Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Heaven is what lies on the other side. Or it yeah. could be right now. Jesus. Oh, goodness. These two. Okay. But no, that's what makes these back two, back of my, two of my favorite people. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. But we're going to jump on into some culture before, like, before we get started or whatever. Um, so, when I first sat down in here a few minutes ago, me and Reggie kind of touched base, touched the topic a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know if you all know, there's a uh, story about Tammy Roman. Um, you know, her husband is younger than her. And first of all, I classify who Tammy Roman is for Tammy the generation Roman. that didn't watch the real world. Oh, my gosh. Right. But uh, loving, ba- um, loving, loving basketball, no, basketball wives. wives. Mm-hmm. Basketball wives. She's a part of that friend. She was. Kenny Anderson. Anderson, exactly. Has two daughters or whatever. Her husband Not is about 20 two names years. I don't know. Her, her husband is about 20 years younger than her. Yeah, actually, I forget you was in kindergarten. Oh, wait, she was the one that was on Real World. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's, how, that's how I first... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she the one with the bonnet chronicles? She the one that got yes. David kicked out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Was it not yes. funny? Yeah, it was. Okay. It, she's the one that got David kicked off. But, um... 
So she has a younger husband. He's about twenty years her um, her junior. He's Good younger. For her. And um, I ain't mad at her because right. she got cougar vibes all over. But right. I ain't mad at her. Look here. Go ahead. Get that prowl. Right. Anywho. So sh- her husband, she, you know, she can't have any kids. She's tried, you know, and she's older. So she told her husband, you know, like, go on out there and get your baby. And he. Just and, like and that? And they're going to be. Yeah. And they're going to be. Read, they still going to be family. Last night. And yeah. they still going to be family. Like, she ain't mad about she it. She's not all. upset. She don't want to be a part of the process at all. Like, we can't no. get a she slide can. show. Nothing. She can't. No, what she, she can't. She no, can't carry she babies. said. But she I want a slideshow. Let me see what the women, who we talking about? Can maybe, I see maybe, maybe pick out the mom. Right. <laughs> Can we get some profiles, please? Maybe maybe she a did. A headshot or two? Maybe she did. I don't know what the process was, but he's having a baby. Can I get a blood he, test? He, she always knew that that was something that he would want, and that was something that she couldn't give. They tried it. She just can't carry babies, and they, you know, it, it's expensive doing like you know the um, in, vitro in vitro and all that yeah. stuff. It's like twenty thousand, like twenty bands a, yeah. a, a cycle. Yeah. So you know, you may go and retrieve the bonnet chronicles. Don't happens. pay twenty bands. Look, but she can't hold them. Her body can't hold them okay. for some reason. It's kind of like the Gabrielle Union thing, where you would have to go out and get a surrogate or something like that. So in this case. She, he found somebody who was willing, like it's a basically it's like a contract. I'm gonna be your baby daddy, but this is our family over right. here. And if that's what they're going for, that's what they're going for. So but my just, thing they is, just she feel gave so him a vague. time frame. She was oh, like, he, she said she was you like, need to impregnate at this she's time. She's like, I'm gonna give you a break. You have a pass of two to three years. Can you imagine when that Google invite pops up nine months from now? Like, nigga, you should have been pregnant by now. <laughs> to go, to like, go what out. do you do with that information when that pop off and you didn't you didn't supply hey. her need? You disappointed two women. What but, do you do hey. when that alarm goes off? <laughs> and it was like, man, I ain't even close. Wow. You know what Look. I mean? It's like a follow-up meeting with your boss when you're on probation. And he was like, hey, you had six weeks to clean up your behavior. What have you done? Ah, let me explain. It's COVID. <laughs> 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 you're supposed to be out here smashing. What you doing? What yeah. you been doing this whole time? Playing 2K the whole time? Look. <laughs> I don't, look, I don't know what the game plan you is. You had one job. It's pressure, man. Because I think it's different for dudes when a girl, like when you're cheating and it's like a secret. For, you, got you got permission. It's pressure when you got permission. Because <laughs> now she's looking at you like, oh, I give permission. This ugly bitch you chose. Like, oh, like now she like judging you. Said, you oh, had my one job. is 12. Why did you pick exactly. her? Like, you could have picked anybody. Like... You almost wanted but, to see. And, and that's the thing. When you do give somebody permission to do that, like, I don't have any judgment on that, like, whatsoever. Like, I don't judge their relationship because that's what they've agreed to. That's yeah. the, Those are the terms of their relationship. And I don't, like, I don't really mess with married people stuff because it's different. Um, but she gave him that timeline. And if he going to work within that timeline, that, that's the pressure he's put on himself. I just want to see headshots because I got I'm the one that got to walk but this baby to preschool. Look, and if this baby got a face see. that I can't love. You know what? That ain't what I want to see. I want to see these headshots, what she got going on. Because I want to see be both. Cute, because men, bot, cause men be having rocks. sex with women that can't read full sentences. That's what I'm saying. But what if so you choose somebody cute. that I'm not attracted to? It, I mean... I, can, it's a it's a joint decision though. Can we choose together? Like that's why I said I want a PowerPoint. Can we get a slideshow? <laughs> Look, he got to give you a presentation, and you done gave him a pass. Uh, you get a pass and a presentation. Yeah, that, that's what that the, the pass. Listen, if you look at the terms and conditions of the pass, mm. y'all, I know y'all let me read the terms and conditions. Just be quick, and I agree. The terms and conditions. I would say I just want to see what she looked like. Can I see if she got and a I'm high sure. school GED? Yeah. Can she read aloud for me and my mama? What if I like, say? What if I just well, hold say, on, hold hey, on. she got? Just... Maybe she get nervous in front of like she can read, but she can't read good. And she get nervous in front of everybody. So now my baby can't read good in front of no, everybody. No, you just better so teach what your if baby I tell how to you, be you can, Yeah, you can do that, but you have no right to veto. Oh wow. Oh, see, you trying to have me single? Okay. I just, I just feel like we should vote as a family. Because this is but not, you ain't because work. all jokes aside, this is the mother of our child. Because all she gets <laughs> Reggie, is the fun parts. Working? You ain't the one putting in work. I just. I got to be able to perform. But, but then but now, I got to pay for tutoring if the baby can't add. Like. You need to get because, on your hustle. Because I don't know if he's. Extra just, time. Is he picking based on Fashion Nova outfits or is he picking based oh on anything God. else? <laughs> oh like, was he like, you know what? Her Fashion Nova outfit was hitting. The seams were together and no threads were showing. And her stomach is tight. But like, what what type of time frame are you giving him to vet these women? I just so he got he a was, vet. He was given two to th- a two to three year gap. Okay, that they, he that's was able a to good do window. He oh, I just okay. want the and baby mama to have more qualifications reasonable. than baby hairs. That's all I want. Okay, <laughs> that's all I want. More qualifications than baby hairs. But like having that. Indian in her family is a good characteristic to have. <sighs> Whatever. Jesus, this baby ain't gonna be able to spell anything. 
It's going to be a cute child although, where they're going to be able to spell anything. Um, in the circulating stories, it never was explicitly stated. Right. I, I firmly believe that. She's a part of that process. Yes. I, I, I'm, I agree. Well, see, I, heard, I think they're varying stories because the conclusion that I heard is that he turned it down and said that God put him in the space he's in right now. So if it wasn't in his cards to have kids, he's just not meant to And have also, kids. if wow. I can just uh, just ask a question of the court and the jury, where was adoption in this conversation? She was just like, nah, adoption is too old school. But sometimes it's not necessary. Like, cause All we these had, babies well, that need So homes? we had a conversation like that before when we were having trouble conceiving. Yeah. And Simon was like, nah, I just want something for my own. And if yeah, I can't have like it, legacy, then it's okay. I mean, you know, and, so sometimes and legacy, is time, legacy is such a funky. Legacy is a funky word in the I black know, community. But now that they bring that up, the article that I read about the story last night, one of one of the Can quotes. Can you speak up in the mic? Sorry. Oh, right. You need to you make don't have love to get to the mic. Close. One of the quotes attributed to her. That was one of the things that she mentioned. She wants that a blood, like blood him, Like he her, love, her love, her love for him. I want to just, can that I just play, can I important. play history channel and ancestry.com forward slash great value ancestry.com just great real quick, value. because like I'm going to tell you this right now, a hundred years from now, anybody blood testing that baby to say, are you actually a Ronin of the Tammy Ronin clan? Are you right. actually a blood Ronin? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Nobody, nobody is going to prick this little nigga's finger and be right. like little nigga or negress. I don't know if she's trying to get a female baby, whatever, you know, gender neutral baby, whatever. That baby <laughs> is girl, not going, like, no one is going to be blood checking that baby. Like, I know we got oh vaccine God. cards, but we got blood cards now. Uh-uh, this legacy is not clear. It's not even laminated. Got, Bitch, hey, who got, is we, asking? Hey, we, we can buy. We can buy. It, man. You Wait, know, my boy, baby. I just don't understand. Because, like, I'm saying, so I know what my last, I know what my family <laughs> legacy is, but you got to take my word for it. Because I could literally lie to you right now and say, this is my daddy. And my daddy would be like, well, you know, I did raise you. <laughs> like, I yes. know that's true. But I just don't feel like no one's doing a blood test. Does it really matter? Mm -hmm. If it's about the legacy, a legacy is five years from now, 10 years from now, 100 years from now. Who is checking? That's why I just let me make sure the baby, could, the, the baby mama could read good. She could parallel park okay. You know, her eyesight is, is valid. She got good knees. I just wanted to pass on good genes good to my knees, child. Like Megan Stein. But hold on. Let's, okay, let's, let's flip, let's let's flip, right let's flip the coin. We, we're placing all of this emphasis on her credentials. Do y'all know much of anything about the dude, the father? Like, that makes what about, it, but like, that makes it even worse. This man could literally be illiterate. So now no, the baby mama got to pull so even more weight. Well, I mean, what the hell is that mean? That's her husband. She, she, she got to know what she knows. She got to be able to do something. He's helped her raise her two daughters. Tell you what, what we need, what we need is what I've been suggesting for twenty years now. We need a paternity SAT test. So do this test real quick. I'm gonna text it to you as an app, and then we could decide if I can have a baby with you. I just want to see what your grade is. And then the grade says, listen, this based on this test, this app, this baby with this man but and this woman. But in real life, people don't, look, I, you don't get to know. Solomon don't know what my IQ was. With, uh, he but he has a conversation with, with yeah, you. That's different. I, he's seen you hold a menu and how you pronounce Alfredo. <laughs> 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 and he wasn't concerned. <laughs> he was like, wait a minute. How did she pronounce yeah. Alfredo? Although she struggled with gratuity. Oh, what? oh, oh you oh. are. Oh. <laughs> No, so it's an inside, inside, inside joke. It's an inside, inside joke. No, that wasn't. And my, again, I'm not saying mine. everybody got to be a genius. <laughs> so everybody stupid. ain't, ain't got to be out here being Frederick Douglass. But you should be able to, you know, read like a DMV application. So let me ask you this. I mean, given that the story's out there in the situation, we're not passing judgment on Tammy or what have you. No, no. Do, do whatever so, you want. I think I'm, my question is just, is she a part of the paternity process? I'm just curious because I, I'm saying I would want to be. If she don't want to be, cool. I would want to be. So when this baby come out the womb and can't pronounce anything for 18 years, I know why. So let me ask you this. And I'm going to direct this to you, Drew. If the shoe was on the other foot, and they have been trying to conceive, and they go to a fertility specialist, and the specialist came back and said, the problem is on the male's behalf. Could you see the husband giving Tammy a window going out and saying, you got a two- to three-year window to go out there and get pregnant? No. Mm. No. No man. No, no man. Okay, hold on. No black man. Gotcha. Is going to agree to mm -hmm. that. Listen, cuckolds be out here. Look, I... Okay. Uh, they might be uh, under the uh, sound of my voice. God bless you, Cuckolds. All of you. God bless oh you. And your broken awful. homes. God bless you all. Um, okay. I, look. Some men get no, and I'm not judging you either if you if you identify as a as a cuckold type of human being. Some people get off on that. 
So, so you say so that? Having, yeah, she actually has a point. Because right. There are I mean, but that, that's that a really that's a fetish that is one act at that particular point in time. This is resulting in a child. You'd be surprised. People mm. be out here wilding. I don't know. Man, you y'all don't watch enough of uh, like Jerry and uh Maury. And I all watch this, a lot of true crime. But a lot, that but a lot like that no, but a lot of that is arranging. very scripted and heavily produced. So I, I don't give a lot of credence to the well, content I got in those friends, episodes. And my friends' lives ain't no, scripted I, by nobody but okay, cocaine. And, 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 and again, for, for the sake <laughs> look, so they be for the sake for the sake of argument, you're absolutely right. Right. Because from my perspective, I'm just looking at it from like my circle, my network, the right. people that I'm connected and, and, to, and, that's how and I, I gotta go. I, I have you. to go beyond those parameters. And, yeah. But just from every uh, every man, you, yeah. black mm-hmm. man that I can think of, that there is not, not one. Enough. It's a hundred percent across the board where they would be like, "Hell to the motherfucking no!" Right? Like that's, that's not that's not an option. I agree. And if I you bring and if you kids, and babe. if you bring it up again, um, you, you might find yourself in a chokehold. Understood. So that's yeah. Understood. Or alone, because we don't want to, you know, promote domestic violence. But no, 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 no. It's it's like a like a sexual chokehold. Mm. Yeah, like, but she might like that, right? Okay, right. Like, fine. She gonna be like, nigga, this is what I wanted the whole time. Oh my god, <laughs> finally show your strength, man. The fuck up, God. But this suburban love you've been giving me, yes, Not finally. Suburban, right. suburban love. Oh, <laughs> you give me that That's HOA really penetration. So give me more. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me like we ain't got the rent due tomorrow. Please. <laughs> like this is the last day on earth. Please. <laughs> take me in this car like they're about to take this car tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. Hopefully we don't have them type of problems. Right. I mean, <laughs> oh, no. Listen, we don't that's want a fantasy them. for some people, man. Oh that's God. it. I hear so you. on that first, I am. I I've been drinking to, as, as I've said before. Yeah, I've been drinking today. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone who I am employed by oh hears this, God. I have a twin. I don't know what job you work at, ma'am, <laughs> so we're not going to even talk about right. that. We just found you on the street. So, yeah. This is my twin on this microphone. So let's, on let's give her, her twin a break. <laughs> so really quick before we go into the break, <laughs> since we're touching on people being with other people, last okay. week we oh. talked about um, Stevie J filing for divorce yeah. from Faith Evans. Uh-huh. That's such a weird sentence. I feel like those those nouns are in the wrong spot. Right. Like, they so, be Faith. All right, but hold on. So earlier this week, Stevie J took to Instagram keyword live, Instagram live, mm-hmm. filming a conversation with him and Faith Evans where he accused her of having sex with other wow. dudes that inside his time. house. That ain't the first time she's been accused of having sex with other people now. In his house. But you, in the click we claim. <laughs> I wrote a song yeah. about it. Yeah, here about you go. Here you go. I mean, Bam. so... And what was she saying? She was like, seriously, are you doing this? Like, right now? Are you doing I What the line y'all always go to? I hate you. Damn. This is so crazy. I mean, she might have literally been with someone else in the moment when he called us. Nigga, I'm in the middle of a nut. Like, call no, me back. Yes, no, she me. was on live. His no, it, live. meaning and he was, he was, he was in the room with her. Oh, I thought and you said And had his, no, her. he was in the room with her and went to Instagram live. And yeah. while he's holding this conversation, he's recording it. Okay, now, the same it thing that the baby, the baby did. But so for me, I really think that that's drop. Right. Is he promoting? Right. That's what we that's said what last think, week. You know, he could be promoting the next. To, that's you know, loving hip hop. It's, it's hip-hop. giving Love. very much. I'm promoting something. Right. So he's trying to get them on the Scott check. That's okay. So the only the only thing the only thing that I want to remark about it is, again, I don't know. I don't know Faith Evans. I just love playing devil's advocate. So even though. We know about a lot of salaciousness um, as it relates to Stevie J. Right. Who's to say that, like, this is the very first time that Stevie J actually met his match? For those of us who... I'm saying, like, somebody who, For those of us who've watched Love and Hip Hop, you might recall that Stevie J is not the bastion, if you will, of monogamy, so... No, but I... Right, um, but who's to but say he's that, saying faith, that, she, like, that faith met, like faith was his match? Like yeah, so now like the she's shoe right, like, the foot. Like, like y'all, yeah. y'all acting like there isn't someone out there of right. the opposite sex who may be wilder right. than Stevie J is. Which is y'all, valid. Yeah, y'all uh-huh. automatically like on this, like oh, faith, she's an angel, and it no. gotta be Stevie J. So no. no, for me, I think it was 
So for me, I think that knowing Stevie J's track record, I, it sounds like it's for a show, and it's for yeah, this is for I his, like his storyline because he's man still being a part of um loving um like growing up hip hop with his kids and stuff like that. And I know that the L.A. version is supposed to be coming back soon. Yeah, like, I don't about know. To drop some okay. T-shirts, like you know those types of things. So you're trying to stay some relevant. I think he's really yeah. Face mask. And, and to me, what made it sound like it was something that was uh like a part of TV is the fact that you're. I don't even have that kind of money. Like, I don't have a lot of money or whatever the case may be. However, if I hire an attorney to handle my divorce, I'm not walking down to, to file no divorce papers myself. That part. Like, I don't need y'all to know I'm filing for divorce like that. Y'all find out like everybody else do through their right, own through little the court so, Yeah, through the court system. Records, yeah. That's their business. And so for me, when he did that, I was just like, yeah, this is a ploy of part of TV. Now, me, to me, honestly, like, I think Faith, Faith has some relationship issues because not only do you you look at the relationship with her and Biggie and how volatile that was yeah, and they were so young sad. so you got to kind of give she that she caused the war between two coasts whatever and then you have to <laughs> you bitches could never your coochies could never <laughs> that's but, classic coochie right there you causing a feud but, between a, two sides of a nation it wasn't even and, and not even only that like so then you get into another relationship where you have another kid and that marriage falls apart in a way where it was you know it it, it she just has a thing with men like i just don't think that but it's also happened on the Mona Scott's watch things. at that yeah do you know what i mean yeah so, I don't know. Just so many things just can be so contrived. I don't know if any of this can, is can real. Can we give, like, Mona Scott the official title of drama queen? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, And she's cutting the checks for but it, she's though, also, But she's also, that. I mean, we could also call her a mogul because she yeah, ain't doing, I mean, she ain't doing nothing that it. any other man business owner on social media is doing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's the same thing. She's a mogul. I agree. I think, and then and then you look at it too. Faith has been violent in their relationship before. Like a couple of years ago, she got arrested for of having a fight with Stevie J. He didn't get arrested. She did. Right. So sometimes, oh, wow. like her, her anger probably leads to like physical altercations and stuff like that between them. And I respect him for not trying to fight her back or whatever the case may be. He may have held or whatever the case may be, but there are some issues that Faith has to resolve. So when she's singing those songs, though, that's a place of real hurt, yeah. you know. And I just think that she has issues just with men that she has to deal with herself. Yeah. And I, I don't think she's quite figured it out. And I I'll think Stevie J should have just pulled a Summer Walker and dropped an album about it. He can't sing Ooh, though, like what's that. Gonna, what? He can produce. He, he got to produce, yeah. but he can't yeah. sing like that. Could have got a couple of hit, hits together. So who we gonna have? Jocelyn sing the pr- <laughs> Puerto Rican princess. Yeah, like Security. so. What do you want to do? <laughs> just saying. Dude, I'm just saying that 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 would be a that's a, a far stretch. And listen, all I want from the situation is for more black people to make money from it. Mona, Jocelyn, CV, Faith, everybody. I hope everybody black makes money from whatever this chaos is. It feels programmed. It's very much giving microwave program setting. You know, mm-hmm. when you click like popcorn and it just pops up two minutes, thirty seconds. It just feels right. It feels contrived because weren't they also posting like cartwheels on the beach yeah. and sunset. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't know no niggas that cartwheel besides Simone Biles and I don't even really know her like that. <laughs> so I just feel like it's very much giving like this was a plan and we about to drop something. So whatever gotcha. uh, what's his name? Stevie J is selling his Fashion Nova fragrance, whatever he's doing um, new spinoff situation whatever it is, I wish them all well. Absolutely. On that note. On that note we're going to head into our first break. You're listening to His, Hers, and Ours, a real-life couple holding real-life conversations with real-life real life friends. friends. I'm your co-host, Solomon Davis, as always, joined by... Shannon Royal Davis. We'll be right back. Absolutely.
nigga and that's so yeah, I remember. Yeah. And, and we back. are back. You are listening to his, hers, and ours, real life couple holding real life conversation with real life friends. I am your co-host Solomon Davis, joined by the culture queen, Shannon Roya Davis. Behind the ones and twos, the Surgeon General, the forty year old freshman himself. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Y'all yes. are really cutting up. And I joined by Team Captain of Team Solomon, Reginald Gray, here with Mr. Drew M- Mills. I won't say Miles for some reason. I'm <laughs> <laughs> thinking, thinking about Drummer Boy. Uh, what you call it? Yeah. Drumline. And um, his significant other, A-Dot. Miss A. A. Dot. A. <laughs> right. Well, well Ooh, point, government purposes won't let people know who she is. Right. <laughs> we like to keep jobs around here. Yes, I like to up. quit on my own will. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like let me show up and then be like, girl, oh, we got to tell you something. <laughs> so, you got something else? No, I was. we can talk about what we were talking about. Well, first, we were talking about this last night um, in the car. And uh seems like the the most hazardous job in America is being a oh, rapper. Wow. Yeah. So this week, another one bites the dust. I guess around the holidays, this is what has been happening. So last, around Thanksgiving, like before Thanksgiving last year, it was King Mm -hmm. Bond. And then shortly after that, it was Mo3. And you're just having these guys just repeating this cycle. So this year was Young Dolph um, from the Memphis rapper, killed in his hometown. They said it was over 50 shots taken at him in a cookie bakery. Um, and it's so sad, you know, because this guy, we were talking about how he's bought around, like, bought up different things in the city. But these guys have lives before they became famous. Right. And although we want to, like, say, okay, well, y'all should squash that and separate the two, some of them still have their feet halfway in, halfway mm-hmm. out. And yeah. this seems to be the their demise, you know. So you've had even, um, what's your New York rapper? Uh, who they Pop still Smoke. Plays with Pop Smoke. Yeah. You know, he had slipped and gave his address where he was at, and you had some Cali people get him. Yeah. Um, and he was in the shower, and they said he did fight back or whatever. The boy said, you know, he, you know, he was trying to take the chain, and he fighting over a chain. Why yeah. you butt naked? It's but you Takashi still fighting. Too. That that baffles me, Reggie. That Takashi Six Nine still walking out here, yeah. and you do all kind of disrespectful when you, stuff. When you got federal protection behind you, I mean, <laughs> look, I, look, look. But it just seems when to be the norm. The Why do y'all think that this is such a hazardous like line of work right now? You know, back in the day, rap was cool. Like you beefed on wax. You when? know, you said a little stuff, but wait, when back in the day was it cool? You ain't had this many falling off. You had okay, so the biggest ones you would hear was like, I feel big... like we just wouldn't know because of social media. Because like we feel we hear about like the minor yeah, ones go too. Ahead. I don't know. I'm I, I'm I'm genuinely social asking. media. Social media getting on camera. Holding your um, cash up to your ear, talking Stunting. shit on camera, you got a you waving a gun on camera, all this taunting somebody else, and like if you taunt somebody in real life, something's gonna go down. You do it on social media, then somehow, some way, they find out where you're at. It's social media. You can taunt somebody from your crib, like Pac did. Hit him up after whatever happened with him and, and Biggie, but it wasn't like the same day. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, but they still had to work together. Not work together, but had the same circles, same people they hung around. But it wasn't like on social media, I'm going to drop this, talk about how I fucked your girl and did all this other stuff. And then all of a sudden, um, everybody is reposting it and tagging Biggie in it and all this, yeah. like all this in a few minutes. Now, well, Biggie, what you going to do? And what it's not necessarily do? Biggie that's going to get him. It's your people. It's your people right. It's your people. I can't name one young. Because I guess I'm thinking song. of like, okay, Late 90s, early 2000s, these dudes, like, not always the big names, not always the biggies in the box. But these but, are... But they would, like, get these nice-ass cars, these chains, and they would go back to the hood and drive through blasting music. I viscerally remember this type of stuff happening. And then they would be involved in drive-bys, too. So I'm saying, so is but social media just the escalated version? Because I don't feel... I don't personally... I could be wrong. I always reserve the right to be wrong. But I'm that. saying I feel like... Is social media just an escalated version of the drive through with the Porsche niggas yes. from the 90s? Yes, yes. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, I, and I'm not saying... like I remember so, these dudes. I remember seeing them. Right, but you didn't see the main... Like, when you were back in, in the early 90s and stuff, when the guys were dying off, like, you would see the main dudes that got killed was, like, that Tupac and, and, um, and, Biggie. and Biggie. That was that was the first time it came like, dang, why you got the front man? You can the homeboys on the side, those were just like a part of like that's just, you know, that's gonna happen. That's just a part of the work. You know, that's what's gonna happen. I think, still I think in because the of, because of social media, the main dude is, is the one I gotta stay in front of the camera. It's gotta be me. The mm-hmm. words have to come out of my mouth. 
So when people see it, they see it coming from that person. Gotcha. So there's no like, well, that's this man over in the corner, but he's the one that said it. I saw him say it on video. And I, it, the whole thing is, um, Boosie said this on the Vlad interview, you can't leave both lives. You can't. You're going to have to pick You can't be a performer a and be a gangster. Right. Choose which one you're going to do. And it, if, if you're going to be on tour, I guess a broken clock it is keeps right you out of trouble. Today. Yeah, but most of the time, you have these ra- these rappers um, who, my mom always say, they they just poor kids with money now. And, you know, so they change, like, they, they don't know how to get out. You feel like it's like a bit of a, a guilt. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a remorse. Because you're having the success, but you don't want to leave everybody else behind. But to me, I think the smart thing they could do was, like, start. If they're going to be on tour with you, give them jobs. Assign them jobs and tasks. Like, this is, you going to be, this person going to be social media. Okay, cool. You're going to be security. You're going to be security. But somebody got to be able to be legally carrying A situation like this, the way that it it starts off, you get, I mean, all these young kids right now think it's one or two ways out of the hood. It's either rapping or some type of athletics. And so... I'm going to get on the mic, show some rap skills and what have you. The local drug boy says, you know what? And you might be blowing up. Let me throw some money behind you, but you repping us. You a part of our crew. Mm-hmm. And although you might be saying something that you can't hold up, you might be writing checks that your ass can't cash. They got your back. Right. So it seems like now when this crew is beeping with another crew, it ain't the front men that's doing the dirt, but the front men become the target. Right. So and, I think and- I just want to just add that you always have the right to cut people off. And yeah. without explanation. You have the right yeah, to. Yeah, but, but, but when you're and I just feel is, you, I, can't, you can't cut them off when they're the people who put the money to get you started. Right. But, they but feel no, like they I'm, own you. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to get in the bed with everybody. Just mm-hmm. because the sheets are warm, baby, don't mean you got to lay there. Like, you don't have to go. And I think that, you know, one thing we were just talking about, the King Richard film, and just the, the risk that Richard Williams, Venus and Serena Williams' daddy took on them, making them take years off. When wow. Venus is at the top of her game, yeah. you have when you say bet on yourself, people say that so casually, but you don't mean that. You mean I'm bet on myself if a white person or a person with money backs me. Mm-hmm. That is not the same as betting on yourself. Oh, this person says I'm hot, so now I'm a bet. No, bet on yourself means come hell to high water. If I have nothing but the spit in my mouth, that is what I am going to bet on. And everybody is not meant for you, and that's okay. And you are not meant for everybody. There's 8 billion people on this planet. If 1 million of them like you and they're your fans, great. But that also means that 7.9 billion don't fuck with you. But then again, when you come up in these little, small, little silos of groups of guys, they're in these little gangs. And I'm not saying little gangs, but they're like in, they're subsets of different gangs, mm-hmm. is how I should say, because I don't want nobody to get offended by saying little gang. They're subsets of gangs. And you feel like like while you on a corner, I'm helping you pay for your studio time. When you get your money, they're not just going to want their studio time money that they paid in. They're going to want a little more clout to go with that. So a lot of them, that's why half they feel like you you feel kind of guilted. You're guilted into being loyal to them to an extent. You got to count the and cost. And you don't know how to. Yeah. You got but you to. don't know how to cut. the Like you don't know. A lot of those guys don't know how to I mean, cut that off. I mean, the biggest example they of all that. They get offended by it. And now, you, now it's a beef between me and my old homeboy. My homeboy who used to be like, that's the worst. To have your friend as your enemy. Because he knows your moves, he knows what you do, he's been in your circle this long. Those are kind of the worst things because those are the people ultimately that come back and and cause harm to you. And that's why my mom used to say familiarity is a The best example of this is is how Suge ran Death Row. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically, he installed the fear of the street and was like, don't mess with him, don't mess with him. Hey, listen, I'm going to front this, I'm going to front that. Hey, Pac, hey, come come represent Death Row. We're going to get you out of jail, this, that, and the other. I mean... Literally, with managerial skills, what 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 <laughs> qualifications did skill that that should not have? Security so. guy, exactly. I mean, no, well, no. To be honest, people said he he did have a good business mind, but he couldn't stop doing what he was brought up doing. Right, mm-hmm. that all the muscle and all the uh, the scare tactics, that was part of him. But they said if he would stop doing that, he actually had a smart business mind. Really, but that was just part of his DNA. He just just couldn't get you rid of it. You can't take that. You can't shake it. It's all part of it. But I but I just think it's a it's a youth thing, and I think you have to live bad choice of words. You, you have to live through something like this. If he would have lived through it, I bet his life would have changed. I, he, I think if he would have got shot honest, and got through he, it. He has. He's been shot. He was shot in the stomach a couple of years, uh, about a year or two ago back. Dolph? Yeah, Dolph had gotten shot in the stomach and he beat that. They shot up his sprinter. He he beat, he cheated death on that one. But sometimes you just can't. Them bullets, 50, 50, 50 shots. I just hope yeah, we get, and you're in a small confined space. Yeah, it I ain't hope we get more information miss. because I know we're speculating. We don't know. We don't know for sure if he was still about that life, if he was still in the game, or 
if this was just they petty jealousy. They still shoot jealousy shots yes. across each other. Because you even seen Soldier Boy oh, talking about he'll put money on him stuff. and all this other stuff. You had other people who had nothing to do with the city of Memphis beefing about, the, like, jumping in on beefs because they're friends. Um, it's, it's just crazy to me. I think they need to get Caroline Mason and the rest of the first 48 originals together so they can solve this crime. I really feel like Check, that. Check, please. Give me I, I really feel Check, like please. that. I need them to get Caroline Mason. <laughs> I can't. And get that going. But I just, I think, I, I definitely send peaceful vibes to yeah. his wife and his children and all That's those affected family. by this. And those who continue to be affected by this, like, gun violence, these acts of violence that will not get a page on the shade room because ain't nobody know who, who they are who yeah. that person is you know i just i'm just praying for peace man because i i don't want to blame dolph because i don't know what happened and i don't want to blame the streets this could be white people most things are but mm. i mean <laughs> <laughs> oh but i just God. i don't know what happened but i just want to send peace and i hope we just get some answers some clarity and that somebody pivots to a more positive direction because of this maybe you were about to Absolutely. air somebody out and you're like you know what i won't do that or maybe you, you know what i mean just I think pausing is okay. I know life moves so fast. You know, the microwave generation is only becoming more microwave. You just, we could pause and slow down and it's okay to say, you know what? I'm not ready to move right now. Mm -hmm. I agree. I've said that before as an adult and it feels weird to say, just be honest. Listen, I'm not ready to make a decision right now. If you got to move on without me, move on without me, but I'm not ready. I feel like I'm supposed to be in park and you want me in drive or reverse. And I just feel like I'm not ready. And if I don't have that information, I'm, I'm a Capricorn. I'm, we are not moving. Hi, we're parked. Thank you so much. The keys are in my pocket. The car is off. We're not going anywhere. Thank you. Um, but it's okay to park and, like, think. I don't right. know. And I just, I hope this positivity comes out of this because I can't imagine the grief. I just can't right. imagine. So with that being said, do we want to make a, a transition over to the uh, the verdict that we were given yesterday? We <laughs> Let's just touch lightly on that. Please tread lightly. I don't even want to. Right. I feel like I need to turn my mic off. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm ready for this one. Lightly. Do I need to turn my mic off? Maybe I should take a bathroom break. Yeah, Y'all got yeah. it. Yeah, you, you, you. So you yesterday, fall. Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted of all five counts Anybody that he. Shocked? Quite honestly, Reggie, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm shocked. No, not me. I mean, I, I anticipated not guilty verdicts. But I am still shocked that it did go that way. No, as soon as they dropped the um, the one about the gun, mm-hmm. as soon as that got dropped, and I knew that the jury came from the town of Wisconsin or wherever, I think that's how you pronounce it, when I knew that it came from that area, I don't know what the jury makeup was racially, but... What? It was? Okay, I didn't know. Nine mm-hmm. to two, white to black. Yeah. yeah. So you got to think, those people are probably not in favor of Black Lives Matter anyway. Mm-hmm. So... The reason I've said this on other social media, I don't post it really on Facebook. The only reason that they're raising Kyle up to be this hero is the people that are raising up to him to be a hero don't like Black Lives Matter. And he shot three people, not black, but they were at a Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. protest and they wish that they could do it. Right. So that so so they're saying, yes, he did it. And I wish I could, that could have been me. So he's our hero now. So defend right. him. That's the only reason that he's being put up on, on hero status right now. And, and folks, listen, trust me, ain't going to be no riots over this. I, I, I've seen some, some posts where, like, oh, black folks are going to riot. Trust me, we ain't rioting over this. Now, the Aubrey case, exactly. if that one comes out the way we don't like it, there's going to be some shit going on with that yeah. one. But this one, oh, come on, dude. I, I, think, I think it was BS because it sets a terrible precedent. Because so right now, I, if I, I, I can walk outside to a Trump rally, have my AR strapped across my across me with Black Lives Matter on my shirt at a, at a Trump rally, someone stepped to me, one of the boogie boys, bad boys, or boogaloo boys, whatever they call themselves, proud boys. Right. They got some boogaloo boys, too. Yeah, it's a group of <laughs> boogaloo boys. Um, and, and someone's like said something to me, I'll go home, this, and I feel threatened, mm-hmm. if I, and I'm going to shoot them because I felt threatened. Hey, they've set the precedent now. Now, yeah. I, I'm not going to get the same... Well, see, and, and what you just described there, that is what, I guess, for lack of a better term, disgusts me about the whole situation. Because where in the United States can me, you, Drew, or any other person of color walk down the street with a water gun 
and the police officer pass right by you and not stop you and right. question you. Yeah. Absolutely. Or shoot somebody and walk right by cops. Exactly. After right. shooting somebody. I didn't see any tears then. And point. With and an AR-15 right. yeah. strapped yeah. in your chest. And they not even stop you. And, and say, hey, you're going to hear, because I listen to like a lot of political radio and stuff like that. And what you're hearing the right saying is, Black Lives Matter, they were burning stuff down. They were setting stuff on fire. My, my, my response is, it's pretty funny. Out of all the protests that happened with Black Lives Matter, you guys picked two or three, uh, I uh, two or three percent of the protests that turn into violence, and usually it's the Boogaloo Boys and Proud Boys are the ones that somebody are, who set that uh, up that, that set, set everything Absolutely. up. But in that particular incident, there was some firing, some fires or whatever that were lit. But the only people that got shot that night were from the hands of his gun. Mm-hmm. So if he didn't go down there, no one shot. Exactly. Right. So uh, I, I'm just saying I'm not shocked by it. But I'm telling you right now. Homeboy's about to be rich. Um, they filmed the entire documentary mm-hmm. of Fox News did. From the time that his court case started to he got acquitted, they filmed the entire documentary. He's going to be on Fox Fox News on, on Monday night. Well, I I, um, I stated that we're going to find out somewhere down the line that the NRA was probably contributing to his defense fund. Right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, uh, Ricky Schroeder, Silver Spoons. Mm-hmm. He was um, putting money into it. Yeah, uh, he, he had so much. He had so much money going to him on, on for his his defense attorneys. Some of these black boys need to go ahead and call up his his lawyer who in there on gun charges. Yeah, y'all better go ahead and get his lawyer information and see if one of y'all homeboys can work for us. I don't think see if def- y'all confront him. I don't think their defense attorney was that good. It's just that the prosecution was so bad. Mm-hmm. The dude was terrible. Dude, I dude think, was I, terrible. To me, I think, well, that and the judge too. Yeah, ju- I was gonna say to me it was more of the judge, and you should and they should file like if you're a prosecutor. And you watch that, and you're in that state, and you're in that jurisdiction. You need to file um, some type of complaint um, against that judge because he was so it was so one sided. It was crazy. So I'm gonna say something controversial. Um, really? Yes, I'm going to. Surprise, surprise! Y'all know I'm so meek and modest and humble. Um, if I was a white person watching this, I'd be shaking in my UGG boots because white supremacy just told you that it does not give a fuck anymore about white lives. That right. is a shift. Right. That white supremacy is no longer capable to protect all Their white own. lives. I disagree okay. on that one. Here's I, why. I think that white supremacy is now picking favorites within the white community. And if I was a white person, I wouldn't see this as a reason to act out. I see this as a reason to be like, oh, shoot. So if I'm not a white-leaning white person... This country will not protect me. So that's why I feel like more white people need to be afraid of that. This isn't about black people, white people. This is about you now because you about to feel el nigga. Like you about to feel (laughs) that because they just told you, bitch, we can shoot a white person in an open government, on government property at that. And listen, if you ain't the chosen white person, white supremacy does not have the capacity for you. Okay. And white supremacy does not have the capacity for all white people. You could be an end lover all you want, girl, but what's going to happen to you? <laughs> we going to disown you. We going to hang up you and your boy. Mm-hmm. You got to be a right certain now. type of white person. And it's like for like the governmental side of it, the structured part of white supremacy. Now, you might still get that privilege. Like you shoplifting in Hollister. Shout out where I used to work. And then mm-hmm. white girls used to steal all the time, but they would only follow the black girls. But anyway, here we are. Um, but, yeah, it's just like I'm watching this and I'm like, okay, if I was a white person watching this, That's a reckoning for y'all because white supremacy is fracturing. Even though we see all this terrible stuff happening, there is a fracture happening in white supremacy, and it's losing its capacity to cover as many white people as it used to. So, listen, go ahead and try to be Kyle Rittenhouse if you want to. You ain't going to get his verdict, baby. He was chosen. You sure about that? He was chosen sure by certain people. That? Everybody ain't going to get the funding well, he I got. Well, I tell you what. Everybody ain't going to get reason, that funding and that, that, that verdict. The reason I say that is because now a precedent has been set because of this verdict. And I open up CNN right now. And what's the headline on CNN? A well, precedent was also set by the George on, Floyd case. On, so on, you either going to be the white what's, George what's Floyd the version head, what's or the lead, Kyle Rittenhouse. What's the lead headline on CNN right now? And Atlanta's International Airport... Travelers were basically described at a chaotic scene running for cover as a gun was accidentally discharged because it was illegally smuggled in. Mm. A gun was they're going they're gonna to carry guns anywhere they want to now and think if I get caught, you know what? Kyle got off. I can get off, too. That happened before Kyle, though. Like, that, like the guy, the police officer went to the kid's bathroom and his gun went off in the bathroom and then he left it by accident. I That's forget. Right. It was in the south. But, yeah, he, a, a child found his gun. 
So I mean, the gun. I think gun violence is a conversation. It's this country is is a it's separate, but it also ties into white supremacy because this country, I'm sorry, has a hard on for guns, and that's this country's addiction. Absolutely. This country loves white supremacy and guns. If, and, and honestly, and taking like, stuff that's from non-white people. That's why we lead everybody in crime. Like, because in other places you can't have a gun. Only people who have a gun is law enforcement and the military. They don't let everybody have it. Like New and York, and even has them, really not strict, all of them. But even, even yeah, yeah. But even New York has really strict gun laws on how they do stuff. And not that they have the lowest crime. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. However, but they do punish you regardless. Mm-hmm. If you was on accident, it, it was whatever. You getting punished in the state of New York for having that gun. They don't care. Should ask Pascal Burris. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He shot his own self and didn't. Yeah, in the foot. Like, Jesus. And he, you went and went to jail by shooting yourself in the foot. It's like they, a gun New has New a has separate a citizenship law. than regular humans in America. Like a, a gun almost feels like a citizen, like an American citizen. Gotcha. Like they, they just have. Right. You know what I mean? Like there's like white American citizens, black American citizens, Hispanic, Latino, or Latinx, and then you also have like gun as a citizen too. I'm just saying that when that's the great. primaries come around next 2022 primaries. You gonna see Rittenhouse all over the place. He has become yeah. the poster boy of the right wing, and, and they, the right to carry guns. And oh all yeah, that. yeah. He ain't gonna take my guns, you damn liberal. Absolutely, goddamn liberal. Guess what? Now he owe them. So with that now being said, I them. mean that br- that brings up a good point. You going when it comes up for uh, you know the election periods and what have you, and, you know you see him out as the poster boy, as you said. Yeah, and then what? They're, they're talking about is a break. I won't say necessarily a break. I can't come up with the word I want to say right now. In the Democratic Party that our, our reigning president isn't fit enough to hold office. Our vice president who had the power of presidency for a minute or two. Um, That's like an hour, dude. Exactly, but has the lowest approval rating of any vice yeah, president. Yeah, because they're not doing anything. I follow all this, dude. Yeah. They're not doing I mean, anything. We don't know where she is. Like, the, the, is she at no, work? They, they've given her bullshit jobs to do, like the border crisis and the voting rights thing, which is hard to do without having um, support from the right wing, have some voters from the right from the right party, the other party. and But they they can do a break on the filibuster as far as the voting rights go. They, that's something they can do, but they don't want to do it. And that's what's making them look like shit right now. They passed the Build Back Better... <laughs> The BBB bill, sound like some porn shit. Mm-hmm. Um, they and they yeah they passed the B, the, the BBCP um, b- um, bill, which is good. It was stripped down from what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like around sixteen whatever million. Then they got to cut down to ten. Then it's down to one point seven, one point nine now. But either way, it's good. It's something mm-hmm. that took care of some of the stuff that he ran on. He hasn't done shit for voting rights, which they need to get that fixed he quick. He has not done mm-hmm. anything for black justice in the sense of you couldn't even police pass reform. the bill. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, police reform. My, my big thing is the police reform and the and the voting rights thing. Yeah. If he does not hop on that, now I get it before you had to pass the other two bills, you had to focus on that. I'm giving you a pass on that. Mm-hmm. Now, when the time's for the midterms coming up next year, dude. I don't know if you guys know about gerrymandering, but they've switched these yeah. districts around. Yeah. yeah. They're, trying, they're doing it here, too. Like, they're stretching out the districts now and doing that now. Like, yeah. To, yeah. And Rezoning. They have to do something. And I'm saying this, this is one of the things where you break that fully busted. Oh, and also the $15 minimum wage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those are three things that I looked at, and that's from coming from the progressive, and I consider myself progressive. That's coming from the progressive side of, of the party, and you got the older folks, 70, they even have a, a term limit on some of these suckers, dude. These older <laughs> folks, like Mansion and all them, that are like, well, I don't want to, you know, people in my district, I don't want to do this and do that because it's going to affect. Dude, he, he's making millions of dollars off the, of the um, the coal industry. Right. So he doesn't want to affect that. He, he doesn't want, who does not want family leave? That's Time crazy. off family leave. But he doesn't want it because it's going to affect his business. You know, so I don't know. Right now, they haven't done shit. Yeah. And that's why the, the approval um, is so low right now. Um, Kamala, you've got some time. You had an hour. You, I, I would have ran some executive orders in one, one hour. He came back and said, hey, look, my bad, dog. I had to pin. I was going crazy. Yeah. To do. I had, yeah. But they have to do something to show you're doing something for black folks and not right. just Juneteenth. And 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 not doing a... <laughs> not making November What's hip-hop the, um, history month? Yeah. Not doing a kneel down <laughs> wearing y'all the shikis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The man, that mess was hilarious. Like a Saturday Night Live skit. But... Like symbolism stuff with no substance is is not helping you out. And right now, I give the the, the right wing credit because they're they, holding to their own. They're sticking to their own agenda. 
And, and they're not even bending. They're not trying to give you a little bit. And the thing is, they have no agenda except culture wars. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they they don't have one policy that they can go right. over. They can talk about. And um, that's their agenda, to stop whatever else is going on. They have no agenda but to block anything yeah. else. That's CRT, that's happen. all they got. That's critical it. race theory. That's, right. that's, all they, that's all they got. So I went on my rant. That's my political rant for the week. I don't like posting that shit on Facebook because I hate getting in debates. I no, I don't because I got some friends of mine I grew up with, and they white, and I try yeah, and, a different conversation. I try not to talk to them about this shit because I like I respect uh, that's your opinion, mm-hmm. but we start getting let's talk about Nobody old times. Either, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about being 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. Let's talk about yeah. the old times. Mm-hmm. We start getting to our thirties and <laughs> the conversations ain't gonna go too good. So that's my rant. What are we gonna talk about next, Shannon? All right. So I'm on, on a lighter note. Yeah, we need a lighter note. After Let that. me just do a lighter note. In San Diego, there was a uh, armored truck that flipped over. That's lighter. Is this an armored truck flipped over, and money is spilled out, and the police are asking for the help of the people who had then collected that money to turn that money who in. Who was asking? <laughs> the police. Police. They are. They already you arrested. About they arrested two people. What would y'all do? That money, y'all turning it. I'm you, not mind it all you, the money, is, you know they that money that goes in those armored trucks. They already know what's on there, like the the serial numbers. They kind of get all of that stuff together. Here's what you do: so so you grab right. the dollars, you go to Listen, Walmart real quick. I don't, I don't buy watch, something, get I some don't change back. Enough, yeah. I don't watch enough episodes of Power to learn how to clean money. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta allegedly wash that money. Yeah, <laughs> allegedly. I say allegedly because I'm hoping I have a future. All right. So, and then on another one, you have in Chicago, them people busted up a Louis Vuitton. 14 people ran in what did and sold over $100,000 in Louis Vuitton merch in Chicago. The shot. Yeah, South Side. Ooh. <laughs> I would never. So, ju- I'm never gonna judge Chicago. So I would like to wait, if it's okay with y'all, to you, see when, when more information comes out, because I want to see what Louis Vuitton did. Maybe mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton called him the N word. I don't know. We gotta no, figure no, it out. They, they no, they just ran the store. The store. <laughs> I'm waiting. Like, I'm waiting. Literally, if I show you, the I video. will never talk bad about Chicago. Okay, okay so I'm gonna wait Chicago. and see what other information come out. <laughs> Yeah, we need to know the full story. Uh, <laughs> we need the full story. I want to see interviews. I think they went in there in self-defense. Do y'all want to see the you, video? You want to know what the real story Those was? Those started it. Those persons started it. Look, all, no, I, know they, 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 all I know is they show up on Instagram for sale. Don't, don't judge me. Don't buy. Ooh. Don't judge <laughs> me. Hey, don't listen, judge they, me. They, they Everybody has Christmas. Hey. Right. They ramshacked the Louis store. They was mad at um <laughs> that Scottie Pippen didn't get paid for the last dance. Oh, my God. That's it. Jesus. No. Cut it out. That's why they did it. And then it. your boy Fetty Wap, That's he made his first uh, statement since he oh. was caught he up was in all arrested, the federal right? stuff. Yeah. 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 You, but, you don't know. A, we talked about this. He was arrested at Fetty work. Fetty Wap was transporting <laughs> heroin, cocaine, cocaine. marijuana, any, Ooh, anything you fentanyl, can think of. Fentanyl, yeah. That's, that's, what that's what it was. From California to New York in U.S. postal vehicles. It was very much giving mind-altering oh, yeah, yeah. substance. Like the phrase. So my boy said on his first statement, I'm on borrowed time. If it ain't life, it ain't forever. It's a, we're okay, time out. Hi. Uh do we not have publicists? Uh, Look, who someone else could have drafted this. Because it sounds like an admission of guilt. Where's Look, the lawyer? Where's the out. agent? When the, the feds when the feds get involved, ma'am. You best have you the A1 lawyer because feds only take on cases that they can dump. Which they is ain't why, playing with you. Which is why I wouldn't be making NAM statements. They would be, the uh-uh. be like, my boy said if it ain't if it ain't life. What? That mm-hmm. is that's it's giving me confession. Uh uh-uh. uh, no sir. Mm mm. You would see something in quotation marks with a white person's name with a hyphen next to it on my page for every statement I make until I was free. But I like, would not be saying NT thing. No. You don't have to. He need to look. He mm-hmm. already know. You the, ain't got to post. The fed, no, when, when the, fed, post when the feds, the feds put the cuffs on him, he was done right there. Yeah, the that was it. They're not gonna make a move man, until they have one hundred percent proof. On a lot of people, mm-hmm. and then people are in office I'm, as we speak. So I don't oh, know. Nah. You can get away. I'm say, I'm just but saying. But you talking about white folks? This, this, he black. But I'm just saying is, I just don't feel like there was any need for a statement that was not cleared through a public. Like all this money y'all got, you've been famous for too long, sir. Like mm. the publicists have been making your post about whatever songs you got charting. Let them do this. Mm. I don't need. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> He would have let his cousin do it. He'd been like on the mic, hey, what's up, hello? Like Travis Scott in that black and white picture talking about you kill all these white children. Sir, where's the publicist? Where are they? 
That is their job. Look, I, I haven't seen that one, but he, he is a part them. of a class action lawsuit where they're asking for $2 billion. Yeah. Both him, Drake, um, what is the the um, Rock Nation, Rock Nation mm. and um, it's Live, Live Nation. Nation. It's Live, Live Nation. Nation. Live Nation is the one. And they are they aren't attempting to sue uh, Apple as well. Uh, that that's look. They've been named. It was those. It was live streaming on Apple. When I tell you, I would have Damn. nothing to say besides my ultimate condolences for the families because that's a tragedy. But yeah. uh-uh, posting a black and white video, posting a man, they got me post. Absolutely not. Where is the lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh uh-uh. uh. You you posting a tweet from behind bars? Absolutely I have no time. I'm with my children, I'm with my attorney, publicist, go ahead and earn the money that I've been paying you all these years. They mm. got me at work, girl. Figure it out. Find a loophole, something. A figure eight, mm. a gram in a bush, a Bible verse, something. Take pictures of me in somebody black church like they did with T I. Please. No. Get me some photo shoots no. where I look hospitable not- and calm. <laughs> Give me some pictures where I look like a calm, nice no. Negro. Yeah. They can hear it in the thing. Yeah, in give me something where I sound like a calm <laughs> Negro. What if T.I. was in everybody black church from here up to Decatur? But he needs to be in somebody black church on the altar as we speak with photo shoots of him on his hands and knees touching the altar. But my thing is if touching you're the doing hem that, of the garment. why aren't you suing the city as well? Um, because they're the ones who had to approve that. That that concept just just they does not happen. You have to give permits. You have to give it's those. It's because of what he approval. was saying too. Because like from the video, people. The, what I'm hearing is people are alleging he was a, he incites Incited. riots as his concert. He does. As his concert. That's what they said in the That's past. That's his he vibe. Had. But at this one, they have video footage showing, hey, hold up, this person passed out over here. Can you please get somebody over here? Like so, there are different sides of that. Um, when he heard that, they were saying he was telling them, hey, y'all stop. Like well, stop what you're doing. Like there were different you know, captions of this video. But I've never seen where you hold the artist accountable unless he was inciting it in that case. But you know it doesn't take much for people. If you got 50,000 people outside at a venue and you be like, hey, y'all, I want y'all to come in a little bit. Once you say come in a little bit, it's done. Right. So I don't know if he said that. I'm not putting that on him. And there's also well, common sense no, because I'm sure Nikki and Cardi both have lines about me taking my pussy yeah. out and throwing it in a nigga face. But am I doing that at a concert at 11 p.m. in the p.m.? <laughs> I'm not doing any of those things because it's a fucking song. Right. It's a track. It's a lyric. <laughs> no. Right. Well, the reason the no. reason that I believe that um he's I don't being like like held whiskey. accountable Just whiskey as an artist is because... Like He's black? this, no, oh. because this this huge successful festival mm-hmm. is his brainchild. It is. This is right. his show. Ooh. Yes, yeah, he put it together. Okay, okay. Astro okay. Astro he Astro came Astro up with yeah. this. Astro gotcha. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yes. why not? Yes. Like if that so, was LL Rock the Bell show. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh. Right. But that's why I'm saying, why aren't you including the city in that? Because they had to clear those permits. Maybe it's, it's pending. We don't know. I don't know, but you suing them for $2 billion. They weren't named Or maybe we lawsuit. giving someone an idea. They were like, girl, you're right. I forgot to sue the city. Thank you. <laughs> they I'm just, look, they put a reminder in their I'm going to need them to do that because of the simple fact that if you're doing that, like, hold your city accountable. Now, same place you play taxes at, they're going to have to pay you, too. Yeah. The city That's the part that somebody. gets me is that you knew, you knew that this was a concert. Travis Scott name, you can Google and see how many times, like, what his concert levels look like. You yeah. have people who are assigned yeah. to do these different jobs in these different places. This man has had sold-out war tours. Like, don't make me think that some, somebody in your office was sleeping on that day. So I'm going to need y'all to hold them accountable as well. You didn't have the right law, a number of law enforcement there to make sure that those people were safe. You Did you even check to make sure everything was up to code before you even allowed them to host that place? Like, that's the part that I'm getting at. No, so, there, there were an, an, an inordinate amount of uh, inadequacies that need to be addressed. But my whole point is, uh, for all of the folks that um, need to be held liable, mm-hmm. again, because this is... Travis Scott's product. Gotcha. He definitely He's the has face to of be. It. Yeah, he has he to has be one of the, So how you get Drake? Because he was just a guest. He featured. He should, came yeah, out and sang a song. Because he's got millions and yeah. millions of dollars. Yeah, so he, he's just And nobody rushed the stage damage. until yeah, Drake, Drake is just the Drake simply, performance. Regardless of how wow. you feel about him, he's simply collateral damage. And me gotcha. personally, I don't believe he should be included in, okay. in these lawsuits. I gotcha. So, but again, you're right. Because they know that Drake is stupid rich. Right. 
I mean, if you file in a lawsuit, but nobody yeah, ain't even realized how, like low key, a lot, like for me, I'm not a Travis Scott. Like I don't follow Travis Scott like that. I listen to some of the songs that he has, and he's usually mostly on like features that I the songs that I like that he has. Um, yeah, you thought it was ocean. It was just a pool. Shut up. <laughs> I can't with you. I cannot with you. Security. Um, <laughs> I can't. I just can't. And then the fact that, like, when I looked at his shoe, like, Solomon, Solomon, you know, he's a sneakerhead. So this fool had the audacity. Audacity. The audacity. Mm -hmm. He had the cockacity because he was acting a little cockacity. Oh. He had the cockacity to ask me, babe, you know, you really want to buy me a gift? You could buy me these Travis Scott. That's weird. I wasn't asking for suggestions. Oh, I didn't. Hold on. I, I didn't know he had a shoe. Yeah, With Nike, yeah, yeah. Nike yeah, and he just in it in one drop since it's Astro World thing. They dropped, they finally released it and showed it like what it looked like oh, or whatever. The timing, I don't yeah. feel like we should be doing this. All people are planning funerals. Well, he, this to help so, him get his so, funds so up. I mean, if you got sixteen hundred dollars to spend on a pair of shoes, hold on, his shoes cost six. Yeah, one pair of Nikes, and the check be backwards. The check be backwards. It's the only shoe that it's, the it's only a backwards hold, check. Hold, hold, so he hold. set a precedent. Mm -hmm. Jordan is the only Nike shoe that. The Jordan 3 is the only Nike shoe that doesn't have a Nike check on it. Yeah. Travis Scott's the only Nike shoe where the check is reversed, going in the opposite direction. There you go. I know the bootleg shoe people are excited. Oh, thank God. We ain't even got to check the stitching on this. We can just make it backwards. Yeah, nah. But they can't sell it because it ain't it ain't all the shoes. Listen, Alibaba does not sleep. For the sh they postponed the this Hold drop, on. yeah. On but this, one. this is his first. This is the first shoe that he has by himself. But he normally does like a, a Nike Jordan, Jordan or a Uptown. Is that the only color it comes color. in? Yes. This only this it only comes in one. the colors of different minority that, skin tones. Well, this is the one that he had designed recently that was supposed to drop. It's like a cactus, it's like three whatever. Three different races on that shoe. Yeah. Yeah. It's called. I don't a, know. I kind of like Air Max shoes. One Cactus Jack sneaker release. Cactus. Yeah, that way he got. That's Ain't what no he calls his shoes, Ain't the no Cactus Jacks. Yeah, that's what his brand is. I guess. Anyway, pay for them funerals and help them people get there. Yeah. So Solomon Shaw, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's how much they cost. Two thousand two hundred yeah. sixty dollars. U.S. For dollars. Yeah. Yeah. U.S. dollars. Not no pay. So. Anyway, I just feel like allegedly Alibaba probably got something that your girl could throw on her feet, and ain't nobody gonna tell a difference unless they squint. So. Oh my gosh. On that note. You want to go on to this next? I said allegedly. <laughs> Don't y'all come hey, so for me. We we need to get some sponsors out there. So by this time next year, I can get me a pair of Travis Scott. Oh, you got to bleep out a lot of my cussing. <laughs> Jesus, my fault. I didn't nah. even ask if I could cuss on this. My fault. But we didn't. It's for Ohio Radio. You can do what you want. Oh, yeah, they run this. Uh, All right. Well, not Kate. I'm just playing. <laughs> so with that being said, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back for our last segment, segment of his, hers, and ours. I'm your co-host Solomon Davis with Shannon Royal Davis. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
Get that kitty, put me right to sleep. Get the silver, she gritting her teeth. Lick the middle a little slowly. Come and waterfall on me, baby. I'm a cuffer, but I'm no police. Laying on her and paying the lease. Tiggle bitty, she got hella body. Her sedity, it got me excited. Oh, I want you to whine for me. Yeah, baby, try for me. You gotta learn from me. You just need a little privacy. And I know, girl, you're all left. Let me dip. Break you off, drop you off. Take off, left, you dip, we dip. Yeah, 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 y
All of them died in a helicopter accident. These two families settled for a one point whatever million dollars a piece. However, that was a two point whatever million dollars a piece. Total, whatever. So now that they're they're settled, you're asking us for twenty five million by yourself. Okay. So okay. I need because to this understand. was only so a then, story so because then, of my husband. So yeah. we need to abolish net worth. I don't want to be able to Google anybody's net worth ever again. Because mm-hmm. how can you in one conversation say, oh, the net worth of Lil Wayne is this, and the net, way, net worth of me is this low-ass number? Like, uh-uh. So, so abolish net worth then. Because that means that you're telling me that net, if you're, they're saying net worth doesn't exist. So then we shouldn't be talking about net they, worth at all. So listen what they can bring in. You're suing the helicopter company. You're suing Nike. You're suing the city. You and my business. And like you're trying to sue. Yeah. But you're in my business. Your business is public now at yeah. this point. So you mean to tell me that I'm not, you don't know what those little girls' net worth was, especially Especially in this day and age that we live in as far as social media, what they can bring in. And not that I'm saying they're on the lines of a Kobe Bryant. However, what that but try to make it make sense. Their thing is like, oh, now you look real greedy. You get you're getting all this money from all of these different parties and you still want us to pay you by yourself twenty five million dollars. Now granted she lost two loved ones, right. not just one. Because you ain't had to kill them, you could have made them. I'm just making an argument plan that was advocate. So yeah. you getting twenty five million from us, but you getting forty million from Nike, you getting sixty million from the heli- helicopter company, and you still want us to pay you twenty five million. Yep. So you want uh, yes. the helicopter yes. company. And Nike didn't release the so photos to the public. So please explain to me how That's your why. distress is more worse than this mom who lost this this husband who lost his wife and he got to raise these my four distress, kids. My distress is higher. That's all under the age you of You want to know why my distress is higher? I'm just asking. My distress is higher because you never would have heard about this helicopter crash on CNN if my husband wasn't who he was. Ooh. It wouldn't wow. have even been investigated this deeply if there weren't Bryants on the helicopter, yeah. which is sad and fucked that, up. That your insane. husband made the but choice. To, no that Bryant, your husband yeah. called and invited people on to ride on this plane with. Ma'am, your husband made the poor decision. I'm sorry he's not here to defend himself, however, but this is what it is. So I'm my, just, I'm, my, I'm, husband, I'm asking. my husband was not the pilot of that helicopter. He, he was wasn't, but he, he, he was the one who the leased pa- the it. The pilot made it. He poor leased decision. it and he understood that he had how many people on there? What's the normal what's what the normal What is the terms weight? of conditions? Apple, y'all got that? Show me the terms and conditions I, I of this flight. Because that's what I want to see. I don't know, ma'am, but you you you're that's in litigation over there I'm, and that's that. But we're right now, since you have this much mental anguish and you feel like it's caused you twenty five million dollars, I need to see it. Let me get them right. So then it needs to be the precedent of the police department that y'all are allowed to take and publicize photos of dead bodies of victims anywhere. So that means that any podcaster that's like, Oh shoot, this person died, I want a picture of that body for my podcast because we yep. air on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Please send that over but to me. But, ma'am, they just saw debris because you didn't even see your husband's body, but you knew that was him because we told you. But go ahead. No, listen, not, that, but on, it's identified that that's his body in the pictures. So we're we going on and on about this, and I think it's all unnecessary because just because she's filing a lawsuit for a certain amount of money, no matter how egregious you believe it to be, does mm-hmm. not mean I, to that, me, that but not, no. Yeah. So, cause my point is, I just met, I just met him today. Mm-hmm. And if I say, Hey bruh, can I borrow $10,000? I'm, I'm shooting high. Number one, I don't know. I don't know what he has, right. but just because I'm asking him for oh, 10000 he got it. Doesn't <laughs> mean that I'm going to get 10000 Right. And they could have come so, to her. Yeah, you know, that's a whole little They should have settled. That's I'm what sure, they should have did. I'm yeah. sure, and that's what I'm probably sure they came to her, but she feels like I need $25, 25 million. million. But this well, is I mean, also a part of the game. It's part of the game. Not only is it part of the game, but nine times out of ten, Vanessa's being advised by someone right. as a financial oh, yes. advisor. Absolutely. Business, have you. I Absolutely. mean, she's got a lot of loose ends she needs to tie up. Like you said, she got the lawsuit from the helicopter company. She got, she one, got with one with Nike and what have you. I yeah. mean, Nike right now has shut down any type of production on any Kobe Bryant shoe. So there's they no, shoe no coming longer out exist. At they all. will not be going forward in, Zero. In, the, in the future. Because so, of the lawsuit. No, not, not just because that. Of the his lawsuit. contract had, his, Basically, his contract, his contract was expiring. Yeah. The continuation of the contract was based on the volume of sales of his shoe. He, he started selling more shoes posthumously than oh. he did when he was actually alive after his retirement. Because everybody's, I got to get a Kobe shoe. I got to get a Kobe shoe. Right. Nike has ended production of Kobe shoes. So now she's looking at the lost value of that contract that she would have earned. Right. So she's suing them for that. But now, now don't get me wrong. I think that they probably did offer her something. But me looking at, looking at it from a taxpayer's eyes, 
That's my money paying Kobe Bryant. I ain't kill him. I don't feel like I should have to give you and your family. Don't get me wrong. One, you had a life insurance policy. He's left you everything. And it, this is me just looking at a regular set of eyes. Yeah. And I'm not trying yeah. like not judging and nothing else. Um, but as a taxpayer, I don't. Why am I gonna have to pay her that, that kind of money? Y'all can't get her down to fifteen million or ten million or something like that. Like y'all need to do a better job negotiating because now I gotta pay for this man's death until I die. Cause that's how it I ain't feel paying be, for like, any police officer in general. But anyway. Right, and I feel like yeah, I feel like <laughs> why that's is my a whole tax money paying? For, like I'm sorry, I just I've had so many terrible encounters with the police, but I, right. I feel the same way. I don't. So. I don't like my tax money going to billion dollars in police unions. Like I right. don't like that at all. I, I personally would feel better about my tax dollars going to bereaved families who are literally being disenfranchised because of the right. actions of police officers than actually giving money to police unions so that they could do what? Kill more black people? So, so like, I mean, that's a whole nother, like, can of worms within itself. But for in this particular case, she's suing the city and the police department, which all, all city things, and this is how you determine. That's why in the city of Tampa, we pay seven cents on, on, on a dollar versus, mm-hmm. like, it used to be five. Um, it went up because we wanted stuff done to different schools. And mm-hmm. so that's what that's paying for. And I don't mind giving that extra two cents right. because it's going to public education, stuff that. Yeah, because th- we know you always give your two cents. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and it's worth it. But anywho, um, it's just, I don't mind doing that because I know where that's going. But when you're telling me that we can't figure out, y'all, you got state's attorneys and everybody else involved, and you mean to tell me you can't find somebody in my city who's a state's attorney who just cannot figure out a way to negotiate with her, I find that very difficult. And so I think that's why they're making it that difficult, saying 25 minutes. Oh, so you got this much more. This man lost his wife, who was half of his income, you know. And he, you know, he now he's like one of the parents on there, legit, one of the coaches. She was a school teacher or whatever the case may be. Her and her husband, you know, whatever they did. But they had kids, like three kids under the age of 10. And now you you leave me with this. And, and now I'm trying to figure out how to take on this. Like, I, of course, okay, you can't give me back my wife. My Her life insurance policy wasn't no... 20 million dollars like a Kobe Bryant so right. I gotta go to work and do a little extra I have to figure out how to do this after school care and stuff like that because now I got these kids that I have to see about that I'm responsible for but that's that's why yeah uh, getting as much life insurance as you can as young as you can yeah is so important it is, Just but you be but you be paying for it like paying for it for somebody yeah else I, to yeah make it. somebody else yeah, to, yeah that I that's mean, the it is, look. It's it's and y'all say y'all want legacy? That's a legacy. Yeah, legacy yeah. means that you ain't gonna benefit from it. It's for somebody else. Yeah, it's not if you gotta pick out who I'm who I'm pro- procreating with. Ah. I mean, listen, your genes in there. Fifty yeah. percent of these genes are yours. So, gotcha. so going you in the, there. So what y'all thought I was gonna talk about? Um, renaming the Staples Center. Yeah, they touching the Holy Grail. I, you know, I understand it's business, but I think you could be selective with your business. I think Staples is, you know, one of those places that's kind of like off the like they are, they're not what they used to be. When no, they, definitely. The, as far as Staples as far as income, like it, that's Staples, not Staples name the, of the company, store. Bro. Staples the brand is not the same as it was 15, 10 yeah. years ago. Like it's not the same, and, Staples, they can, and I don't think wasn't and I don't think they can afford it. Depot? Maybe, but yeah, I don't think they can afford to do that, do that anymore. anymore. Like the yeah. money. As far the as the, the money, yeah, the naming rights, they're gonna yeah. have to let that go. But I think they could have done a better choice. <laughs> Sable's like, hey, my man, uh, what's uh, for that crypto? I'm gonna hit you all like next crypto, month. Crypto.com. Crypto. 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 Oh, I don't like that. And then you got so many games over there in LA, like, did, that's what you chose to rock with the Crips. Hey, going they, to the crib. building yeah. people who own the building, go name it whatever you want to name but it. I, I don't, that, Just like in Miami, is, what is it, the Pornhub Arena or something? No. Oh, oh, are you serious? Geez. They have a Pornhub Arena in Miami. I don't, no. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, one of them was going to be, no. a, one of them was trying to bid for the... Miami for the naming thing? rights to Miami. This is why we need a DBA, doing business as. Hi, we're Pornhub, but we do business as. Or Bang Bros, one of the two. Not Bang! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Security! That's bang Bros Center. Mm-mm. Hold on. It's called the FTX Arena. What's the F stand for? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but I'm saying, does that is is that the parent co- company? Like of it could be. The I porn don't know. Company, maybe it says here the porn company Bang Bros has put in a gigantic bid to get the naming rights to the stadium that the Miami Heat play in. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wow. wow. Yeah, I'm reading that article, September 13th, 2019. Yeah. It, that, wow. So it's called FTX Arena currently. I love it. Um, but I love that's it. I, 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 mean, I just think that sometimes good. you need to pick and choose. Like sometimes money can't be the end all be like you gotta have. Does some, this number some feel low? It. So their their Twitter was post was we officially submitted our ten million dollar bid for naming rights. I feel like Cardi B got cars that cost ten million dollars. Yeah. That was probably more for this, publicity. Yeah. yeah. That feels yeah. I would be that's a Because it's uh, gotta be in the hundreds of no, millions. And this to is get no offense to the yeah. Miami yeah. Heat, but I mean like your players make more money than not riding the bed. I don't think that I think like they start out at a certain level, but to even get your name in there you have to put your ten your ten thousand dollars, okay. whatever, just to get your I, name on the list. Because if I was Miami Heat, I'd be DMing there. and I'm like, Hey my man, put another zero in there, put some respect nah. on my name. Don't be talking no, about I think it's just it, it's ten million. Right. But, but the fact that they pass it. It should be like King of Diamonds Arena or something like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, oh, Matt Life does y'all, have a stadium. Y'all want to come to the finals? So y'all got to come to JOD. Out, you know? Hey. Nah. Just strippers, Lily Rice, who get your tickets, just strippers and glass bottles for no reason. So yeah. I want to give a shout out real quick to my man behind the one and two, the Surgeon General, for being Nostradamus. Pew, pew, pew. What did I do? Last week, we sat here picking games, and you said in the Monday night game between the Rams and the 49ers, the first play of the game, the Rams are going to go deep to Odell Beckham. Yep. And they did. Yep. For an interception. Yep. It's <laughs> about right. Sounds about right. So for y'all that don't know, at the end of every show, we do. We go through the week's football games and give our weekly picks. I need a. Pin. You got to pick up Alfie's picks. I'm about yeah. to say oh, I don't. Yeah, I, need I, I had a horrible week. There should be a blue. Yeah, one right we're gonna leave. Something. We don't. Yeah, we just want you to get. The I'll just pew, be over pew, here pew. smiling. Yeah, you do the. Pew, pew. I don't know any yeah. sports. Pew, pew, like pew, I don't know the rules. Yeah, that right there. Yeah, you got it. That's all. Yeah, I'll put an echo behind it. So last week, I know I did horrible. About a week ago, I didn't gave up. Bringing in the rear was Alfie at All right, five and eight. This I was oh. last. Serge, you and I tied. Wow. At six and seven. Wow. wow. I ain't what I did. I know I should. You must have did really that, good. Man. Shannon was the winner for the week. Woo! Go Shannon. Nine and I'm four. butterfly. Wow. Yeah. So she's got like a stranglehold on second place. Mm. So as we stand for the season, I'm in the lead at 99 and 48. 99. Shannon is in second place at 90 and 57. Wow. Serge, you're in third with 87 and 60. And Alfie in the rear, 86 and 61. Mm. Terrible. Mm. Mm. I mean, but still, everybody's over 500, so. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah you know. I mean, that's what so, you got to look at. I mean, y'all, can, y'all, making, y'all doing a, a I mean, decent but job making pictures. Solomon is kicking I, I, butt. I, I, was, I, was, he was like, I was messing he was around playing last week. Around I wasn't last taking week. it serious. He had like a 12-game okay, well, lead no, on Okay, well, no, let's get to it. I'm, I want to hear the picks. Let's, right, let's do it. Yeah, I want to I wanna see what y'all see. Like, here, here, go. Let go. Starting off tomorrow at 1 o'clock. The Baltimore Ravens at the Chicago Bears. I kind of want to go with the Bears. Uh, Yeah, Lamar is on the questionable list right now. Yeah, he's on. uh, Is it officially like out? He is questionable. But Khalil Mack is in the reserve too. Khalil Mack is out for the season. Mm. I'm just giving input. When did that happen? He had yesterday. So, oh man. (laughs) But do you believe in Justin Fields, Mr. Ohio State? (laughs) Is it Chicago or it's in Chicago? Chicago. Yeah, it's in Chicago. I, I mean, I'm already out for the season, so I'm just going to go with the Bears. I'm just going to go by the team. I don't like that team. You're I'm not. Hey, listen, you ain't, you, you ain't out. You, if you make not. up two games. I need to go undefeated, and, and then I'd be. Oh, if you I make up two games. Four week, I was smoking last yeah, week. Oh, before we even get into the pick, let's let's also um, be reminded that we did have a tie last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Detroit and Pittsburgh. 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 So that I just threw that wise. game out. It didn't yeah, even it count. didn't count for anybody. That was yeah, that was a that game right there. And at one time I said I'll never ever go for uh, put them out there as a bet. <laughs> that was crazy. Yep. So anyway, once again, Baltimore and Chicago. Alfie I'm has, going with Chicago. Alfie has I'm Baltimore. I'm saying Ravens, but my picks aren't official. I'm just saying Ravens. Uh, Alfie has Baltimore. Um, who like who is Chicago? Uh, who's Baltimore's backup quarterback? Doesn't matter. Who pick your team? I, I do. Mm. It does matter to me. You could pick. I'm picking Baltimore. I don't, I don't, yeah. The best. 
Nah, you're going to be a lone wolf. We're going to go at Baltimore in this one. I just don't like, like, I, I, that matchup. But anywho, go ahead. The Bears may surprise. Plus, Baltimore got exposed. Yeah, They've been yeah, exposed yeah. all Oh, season. yeah. I forgot they lost to uh, the Dolphins. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, okay, so bad. Alfie said Baltimore too. Green Bay Packers at Minnesota Vikings. Vikings. Green Bay. Green Bay. I will never pick Minnesota ever you again. You can keep on hit, hating on Kirk Cousins all yeah. you want. We'll go dude. Green. Until he pro me, proved me wrong, I am not going for Kirk Cousins. Like I'm okay, going he's, Green he's Bay. He's been proving y'all wrong. I, I no, he wrong. ain't. No, he ain't. What's the record? Huh? What's the record? No, he hasn't. Okay, I don't know the official he like record. four and five. He might be like four and six. If they won for you. No, I get that, but he's not. You act like dude's a scrub. He is. Because when it's time to win, you're not winning against those teams that are challenging. Like, go, play, they, you're I not I winning against playoff. playoff teams. You're not playoffs. winning against playoff teams. I bet they make the playoffs. playoffs. I'm talking playoffs. I'm saying Vikings, and I'm, put, I'm, I'm, I'm putting going, all my picks in the chat. Go ahead. I am putting, like I said, I am going with I got Green, uh, Bay. Green Bay. And Alfie went with Green Bay as well. I'm going Green Bay, too. The Indianapolis Colts at the Buffalo Bills. Bills. I don't know, but Bills been Ooh. real sketchy lately. At the Bills? At yeah, the I'm going to go at the Bills. Alfie went in with Indianapolis. I'm say okay. Colts. Alfie was watching Hard Knocks. <laughs> Alfie went <laughs> with the Colts. Colts. I'm saying Bills. The Detroit Lions. The Browns. Whoever. At the Cleveland Browns. Browns. Cleveland. Yeah. All but I don't know. I'm still kind of nervous Detroit. about this one. I'm going with the Browns. Go ahead, Solomon. You got some. You know, some I got, I got some games with, to waste. I'm rolling with Detroit. Detroit. Go wow. Ahead. I hope so. And I First hope, win of the I year. I hope Cleveland do just what they did last week when you, yeah, go nah, ahead. No, you don't want to say that. Don't say that. What did they do? Didn't they have like a 45? When, who no, did they we beat lost. The they lost last week. The week before, they had 45 Yeah, we, we won. I want them to real, beat the teams yeah, they supposed to beat. Was, go ahead. Yeah. Detroit going win that one. Okay. That was bad last week. And Alfie, of course, picked Cleveland. That's because oh, but we got Chubb coming back. That's right. Yeah, that's and a problem. I don't care. I just, Easy. Detroit just will not get Detroit me to put them to down. One game eventually. It yeah. ain't gonna be against they us. They got that tie. That yeah. was their one. But go ahead, that, come on. How, how you said? Who's coming back? Chubb. Chubb Rock. Oh, that, yeah, that, that sounds cute. But it don't matter. Yeah, it does sound cute, cute when you got a coach that, bro. We drove the entire field on them, running the ball, killing them, killing them, and then just let me just have Baker throw the game away for us the rest of the game. Yeah. Baker hurt though. Like y'all really need nah, to Nah, man, a coach. Oh, I don't know whoever was calling those plays. I needs told to, you, man. Baker is the white J dub. Yep. Nah, they need to leave him alone. The Washington football team nah. at the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers. Yeah, we're going with Carolina. Cam. Cam. Cam's oh, back. Oh, Cam. WFT. What the fuck? Washington football team. Yeah, that's oh. what he went with. He went with Washington. WFT. So, um, nah, because that was a fluke last week. So, I'm Ron, going, I'm going Ron Rivera, Rivera as well. I don't trust the Panthers offense, even with Cam. I'm going with Ron Rivera. So, okay. um, yeah, Carolina, and so did um, Alfie. Alfie went with Carolina. In the blowout of the week, the Houston Texans at the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee. Yeah, definitely Tennessee. 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 Everybody had Tennessee. Tennessee. You said the blowout of the week last week and. Oh, don't even. Hey, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. I mean, cut it, it out. was a blowout. T- 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 no, it wasn't a blowout. It wasn't no blowout. It was worse than what it should have been. The San Francisco 49ers go to Duval against yeah, the San Jacksonville San Jaguars. Fran. San Fran got that one. And, yeah, San Fran. Jaguars. Everybody had San Fran. We go ahead and say the Jaguars. You did go for them last week, I think. You picked I did. them. I did. Go for them right. again. They almost won, didn't they? They almost won. Go for them again, Solomon. We need nah, I like I like San Francisco. They got my they got one of my favorite players. Debo. Oh. Yeah, but uh this this will be another upset week. Duval. Duval. Okay, go the ahead. The Miami Dolphins at the New York Jets. They at the Jets. Dolphins. Oh, this is a nasty game. Uh, Dolphins. Yeah, we'll go with Miami. I think Flacco's oh. starting. Yeah, Flacco is starting. Oh. I always hated his name. Yeah, um, Alfie picked Miami. I'll um, take Miami. As I'm well. gonna take them too. Like I just don't trust the do- like. If they would have had oh boy Jared, what his name was, White. Who is White? What's they? Mike what's, White. Mike White. That's what it is. Oh, so you like the boys from USF? No, they would have had Mike White. He did a better job though. 
They still losers, but go ahead. They'll still get the third pick in the draft. Go ahead. The New Orleans Saints at the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Mm. Your boy's out. Who? Who? Kamar. Uh, the running back. Um, Kamar. Kamar. Alvin yeah. Kamar. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so, Alfie picked New Orleans. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Eagles. I, w- I need an upset anyways. I'm going Where Philly. Is it? It's at Philly. I go Philly. I'm rolling Philly, too. I need the Saints to keep on losing. Alfie picked the the Saints. Cincinnati Bengals at the Las Vegas Raiders. Let's go Raiders. Bengals. I'm going with the Raiders. They need Bengals. a bounce back. I need but the but lose. Bengals. I need all these AFC Best North quarterback North receiver North. combo. Yeah. Yeah, that con- that combo. So Best. Alfie yeah. went with Until Cincinnati. They play the Browns. Alfie went with the with the Bengals. Solomon, you going with the Bengals? I'm going with the Bengals. All right. I'm going with the Raiders. I need a, they need a bounce back. Let's Raiders. go Raiders. The game That's that I want to be in front of the TV for tomorrow. The Dallas Cowboys at the Kansas City Chiefs. KC. Mm. Oh. Alfie picked Dallas at Kansas City. At Kansas mm. City. Yeah, KC. Oh, this is going to be a good game. Oh, what time? What 425. Time? Uh, Need KC to win, but I'm picking KC regardless. Yeah, Dallas. I would go KC. Dallas. Dallas got it. Well, Dallas got to prove it, and I really need Dallas to lose. I'm going. I'm going for Kansas City just for the sake. I need Dallas to fall down as far as like what yep. their what their conference, um, conference go. No, so I, I mean not necessarily. I mean we tie with them, we get head to head. Yeah, but we but we still we, don't so want it to get to that. I need a little don't want cushion. It to come down to that. Yeah, I need them to come down. They need the same amount of losses we got. I need them right now. So with that being said, it. I'm going to take Kansas City. I just think Mahomes is back. Kansas City. So um. Come. Alfie has Dallas. Arizona Cardinals at the Seattle Seahawks. Kyler Murray still. Kyler Murray back. They've been winning without him. Yeah. They lost. Wait, they lost two without him. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying um, cards. So is he still hurt? Is he still? Yeah, I think it's not. I'm going. I'm going with Seattle on this one. Let me. Yeah. Let me see. I'm just not trusting Seattle right now. Is he back? DK Metcalf. No, look, DK Metcalf got, said he got kicked out because he was tired of losing. So I feel like that's gonna bring a fight. Kyler Murray is a game time decision. Is DeAndre uh, Hopkins back? Hmm? DeAndre Hopkins yeah, back. Hopkins back. DeAndre Hopkins is out for the Cardinals and Seahawks. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Seattle. I need that. I'm going um, with Arizona anyway. I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with cards. Yeah, and Alfie. No, 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 no. Alfie. I, I saw what Carolina did to him. I'm going with Seattle. Alfie picked Arizona. I'm going with Seattle. I don't see Russell Wilson having back-to-back bad games like yeah. he did against Green Bay. And like I told y'all, did you not hear me say DK Metcalf said he got kicked out of that game, ejected, because he was tired of losing. So I think that's a different fight in a different conversation you having all week long. So I think he, I think they're going to come back. They're going to be ready. Tomorrow night, 820, the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Los Angeles Chargers. Let's go Chargers. Chargers. I need Pittsburgh. Wait, he said oh, Pittsburgh is still in the Chargers. Oh, at the Chargers. Yep. I'm a Tom yeah, I'm, I think I'm a Tom um, ju- he, um, what's his name, Justin? Justin Herbert. Yeah, he got to get back on, on track. So, yeah. I, Pittsburgh I'm going got with, nasty defense. It's okay. Los Angeles for the win. And so did Alfie. I'm going Pittsburgh. Why? Because they got to bounce back from the Detroit tie? From the tie? Tom, <laughs> like, that makes sense. Tomlin got his swag. Got to bounce back from the tie. Yeah. Is Roethlisberger back? Or is he still out? I think they're going to use the, the Cleveland mode of winning. They're going to run the ball Just with Najee ball. Harris and, yeah. and stick to the defense. Yeah, that ain't going to work. They're going to have to go to the air at some point, though. Yeah. Yeah, but go ahead. Anywho, I need some I need to I need some more wins, so I don't care what you pick. And the Chargers are good against the run. And then the Monday night game. The New York football giants. Come and get their ass whooped. Oh, that's Bucking right. It's Monday. They home. Bucks. Yeah, Bucks gonna win that game. What'd you say? Yeah, Buccaneers gonna lose. Okay. Drew, what you Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last time that Drew Mills <laughs> will be invited yeah, on the Hit His Head Yeah, show. he's officially And you will see uh, Mike Allstop will be in the That's stadium. Be trying to sneak oh, he's getting in the ring? Mike, no. <laughs> no, Mike Evans. John Lynch is getting in the ring at halftime, right? John Lynch will be inducted or getting his um, Hall, of Hall of Fame, fame ring, ring and jacket from the Buccaneers. 
um, with his next touchdown, Mike Evans will we'll become the Mike all-time Olstein and Mike Olstein Olstein will be in the building. Touchdowns. All right. Wow. And Alfie picked Tampa Bay as well. Damn. So it sounds like a Tampa Bay cross the board minus. Oh, no. Reggie, you put this as a loss or you got it? No, that's a win. Oh, okay. I got the Colts as a loss. Oh, Reggie, you don't talk. Just silently go to the yeah, next bit. Yeah, Reggie will not be invited. Hey, down stay down on the track. Yo. Um, bonus week is Thanksgiving. We got three extra games to pick. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. 12 o'clock Thanksgiving Day, the Chicago Bears at the Detroit Lions. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's right. That I'll be big Chicago. Yeah, uh, yeah the Bears. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go with Detroit. I'm going to take Detroit on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm going with Detroit. <laughs> They're going to try and win one for That's going to be the game that they yeah. win. No, they're going to beat Cleveland and be yeah. so <laughs> They ain't beating Cleveland. We're going to smash them. Okay, I'm picking the Lions. Alfie picked the, sh- the Bears. I can't believe I picked, picked Detroit. The I'm going I mean, Lions. either. I don't usually mess with them no more since they mess me yeah. up. They ain't show up at all. I think we're going to beat up Chicago so Let's bad go. that they're not going to have anything left. The 430 game on Thanksgiving Day, the Las Vegas Raiders at the Dallas Cowboys. 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 Yeah, Cowboys. Everybody has Dallas. I'm taking Dallas as well. And the 8 o'clock game on Thanksgiving night, the Buffalo Bills at the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Alfie picked the Saints. I'm going to rock with the Bills, still. Well, I'm going to go with Saints. Uh, I just want the Saints to keep losing. I want them to lose, but I'm just saying who Praise I think is going to Who was playing? Who was the Bills playing the week before? <laughs> who were they playing the week before? So, uh... They pl- who the they Colts. play earlier in the week. The and that Colts. was in Indianapolis, right? Yeah. No, they play the Colts. They play the Colts in Buffalo. In Buffalo, okay. and then they go to New Orleans. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Bills. I'm going with the Bills as well. And Alfie went with New Orleans. So there you have it. Our Week 12 picks. Excuse me, Week 11 picks. Week 12 will start off with the Thanksgiving Day games. Um, Drew. Miss A, it was thank a pleasure you. having so y'all in the building. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I enjoyed this immensely. We're about to get out of the studio and get in these streets. Yeah. yeah. Let's finish our weekend, man. Yeah. Yep. Go yeah, have some dinner and then turn up. The what? turn, turn, uh, what's that's called turn up, turn up tuition. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up tuition, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what it's, yeah. Do you say that like an old that's man? <laughs> okay, let's just, yeah. Oh, I mean, kind of, well, I am. Turn up a, a wation. Yeah, no. Turn mm-hmm. up a wation. So we supposed to celebrate dude birthday last night. He told me we going out. He told me, man, I was talking shit. Got to go to bed. I'm old. He had to talk to them. That's what it was. Right. That's what it so was. So we got to make up for it tonight. Yeah. He blamed you for taking him seriously. Like, man, you know what age I just turned. Mm-hmm. You was ready though. You was, was ready at the was. dinner table. I and was. you was I'm for and real. Once, you sound so once. motivated. But did y'all notice how quiet I was when he was talking all that stuff? I said, look at my baby just lying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm a, I was like, but it's one of those things I'm not gonna air Come you on. out. I'm gonna let it play out. You know, because the friend. truth always reveals herself. So I was like, okay, go ahead, go talk your shit. An hour right. passed by and then lids so start looking heavy. And black college sports news. news. Yeah. So in black college sports news, I just gotta get it up there. Like fam, you has not beat BCU in like Sam Yeah, seem Not like Sam. Sam. Fifty eleven. Yeah, fifty eleven, something like but that. But I heard this was. But anyways, this is win. this is because last year we went undefeated and they still lost to BCU. Like you know, you have a kryptonite when that yeah. show a little bit. Yeah. So right now, fam, you was up in the fourth quarter. It's a third and six there in the forty three, and the score is forty three to fourteen. Come Baby, on. I don't even know what sport Come we talking on. about right Come now, on, fam. Okay, you, yeah, you strike I strike and strike I blacked and strike out. again, I honey. It's okay. Classic. Yes, sir. I don't know what that means. Don't know what yes, that means. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. So he, everybody's he, he, he don't know about it being in Tampa back in the yeah, day. Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking that it's in Tampa. Yeah. Um, uh, Ashley. You know the classic used to be in Tampa? HBCU. Come on, let's let's get it together. Come I'm on. a also a Bahamian. Don't hate me. Yeah. We ninety eight percent black. We don't need an HBCU. Yeah, you do. It's naturally you do. An HBCU you, you everywhere. Don't know, you, you don't know you don't know you need it, so you know you right. need it. Okay. Right. So we're gonna get right. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyways, that's so how before we get out of here, sir, do you want to tell everybody when your next performance is gonna be? Uh tomorrow. What? Pew pew pew. Yeah, well, Gino's supposed to be performing at uh, Hivestock, say at Crowbar, uh-huh. and uh, he wants to do phenomenal, so I'm gonna go there. Oh, but phenomenal! You need if to the baby on comes, because he's got one on the way. If the baby comes, I might be doing the whole set. If so. the, ba- the oh, a new wait, yeah, yeah, he's having baby. a baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. His girl, his girl, his girl. I was like, he just was you talking about Jonathan? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, right. yeah. So if if his baby comes today okay. or tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I might be doing a whole set. So. Okay, all right. So that'll be that. But I got tickets for the show on the 11th. Mm-hmm. If anybody wants some, come to the studio, hit me up. I'll deliver. And I think they're like ten dollars. I only got right. fifteen of them, so yeah, support that. But support I'm opening that. up for some young bucks. I was listening to their music. They got that high energy stuff, so mm. I might have to bust out mm. the high energy stuff I hey, got. We you are, know what I mean? We so we're gonna do that. All but yeah, right. that's what's happening. And we are phenomenal. Oh, yeah, I was singing the hook. You heard me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. But no, Listen, thank y'all we, so much. We appreciate, we appreciate our y'all. listeners, our followers out there. You know, hit us up in the inbox. You know, give us some feedback, what you thought about this episode. Once again, Miss A, Drew, thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. As always, Reggie, Reggie in the building. Appreciate you. Waiting for cover two conversations. Not today. <laughs> Not today? <laughs> now, they do once a month. Okay. All right. So. They got, they got a limited out. following. They, they, they like a, some, <laughs> some, it's like supply and demand. We, we keep the people wanting more. Gotcha. But until right. next time, this has been a great week. We have celebrated. We have turned up. We're going to be back next weekend doing the same thing. Absolutely. And shout out to, um, I went to Folsom Middle Elementary School this week, and I did Great American Teaching. And What you uh, talk? I talked about having a backup plan. Mm. So that was one of the things that I talked about. I talked about insurance. I came on after the funeral home guy. So I had to ask some children. I said, go home and ask your parents if they have life insurance because I know you see the people with the GoFundMe. That right. means they didn't have no insurance. Right. You don't want to be the GoFundMe. You fuck them people with dinner conversation. Whatever. <laughs> I made them children go home and talk about something for real because mm-hmm. their parents quick to buy them J's and everything else, but they need to invest in their kids and then want to beg us to, to help bury them. So... It was a good a good turnout. My sister's class was phenomenal. Yeah, so it was really good. So Word. shout out to Folsom Elementary School and their teachers and their staff. Thank you for hosting. They were amazing. They had great food for us, breakfast and lunch. So I appreciate them. That's what's up. All righty. So until next week, my name is Solomon Davis. I'm joined as always by. So your name only Solomon Davis until, okay. Shannon Royal Davis, the culture queen. Thank you. Because I might be changing it. <laughs> whatever to what Solomon X okay on that note thank y'all for joining us y'all have a great week thank you we gonna take take us out Serge on the Phenomenal got you we gotta run Phenomenal let's go we already know this Phenomenal <laughs> me Gino Lexus shout out to So Special the producer on this one uh, y'all can get this all streaming platforms yada yada you already know this you already know this check him out Phenomenal we out Sergeant General, 40-year-old freshman, baby. Shout out to Gino Lexus. It's my brother. So special, yo. You killed it on this beat. I've been hearing people got a lot to say, but it really don't matter. Uh Uh-uh. You know what I mean? Forget what you heard. Look at us now. Say what you want. Ain't no holding us down. Know who we are, who we are. And we are phenomenal. Forget what you heard. Look at us now, say what you want, ain't no holding us down. Do what we are, who we are, and we are phenomenal. Coming to the game like LeBron James, rookie of the year with no complaints. No faking statements, what we witness is greatness, no mad all the hate and that comes up they face it. The flow high, yo, guy go psycho on the mic though. Might show Michael's throw a killer in the sky, whoa. Eyes go off they sockets, he drop it, beats knocking every time he come around, his bopping. Shorty's top notch, you're watching, crouching on the couch, then heart stopping, sweat dropping to the floor of the court. Three seconds in the game, nobody wants it more. Keep giving me the ball, game winning score. Believe they see what's up, just leave it up to us. When there's no one left to trust, call him Kobe in the clutch. They need a general and nobody else. I'm not trying to blend in, I'm separating myself. Get what you heard. Look at us now, say what you want, ain't no holding us down. Know who we are, who we are, and we are phenomenal. Forget what you heard, look at us now, say what you want, ain't no holding us down. Know who we are, who we are, and we are phenomenal. Yo, blood, thicker than water, I met surgery at work, getting tips from my daughter, but earning nickels and quarters, graduated the dollars, one with trips around the globe, gun point running on us, the five both think we hustling, but the product was music, real life felt troubling, on stage I would lose it, new kid with the message, young pun help to spread it, Alfie 
on the cameras, wrist and blade on the neck, tip bumping nothing like me. Bad habits and for those key. DAK on deck, stayed with the toast, blazed up the cipher. Dutch hit the lighter. Five minutes later, lyrical prize fighters. I might just take it to the accord with no AC. I spit it rhymes with my baby in the backseat. Before Gino Lexus, it was Jackie. It's thick, but it don't take blood to call you for family. What you heard. Look at us now. Say what you want, ain't no holding us down. No, we are who we are, and we are phenomenal. Forget what you heard, look at us now. Say what you want, ain't no holding us down.